Hello, welcome to video four. What is the material, the Fresnel node? Well, let's actually go back to that. First of all, you may have noticed it's spelled with an S, but the S is silent. So if you're ever trying to pronounce this, it is Fresnel or Fresnel if you just want to pronounce it phonetically. Anyways, what is a Fresnel? Basically, if the camera is staring at the surface, that is affected by Fresnel, it is going to have a zero for the value. It's going to have nothing. For the surfaces that are up basically perpendicular or away from the center point, they're going to have a one. So if we're looking at this, you can see how the center is a darker color and the outside or the areas that are away from the center of the sphere are going to be a red color. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So our Fresnel has three inputs, exponent in, base reflect fraction in, and normal. Now the first two exponent and base reflect, you can set them on the actual node itself, or you can hook up inputs like I've done. Now what are they? Basically the exponent, it specifies how quickly the output value falls off. So let me go ahead, I've set this up as an instance, and I'll adjust this in real time. So this is our exponent. If I drop our exponent down to zero, you can see we have a solid red. We have no fall off. And if I slowly increase this, let's take it to one, you'll see this, two, and continues on and on. So the farther I get, the greater my exponent, the farther away the fall off is from the center until we get basically nothing. We get a very thin, Fresnel effect around the edge, but nothing really apparent. So basically that is what our exponent does. It determines how much of the effect is seen. Our next one is our base reflect fraction. This basically specifies how much specular reflection there is when it's viewed from straight on. One disables the effect and a zero gives us more of an effect. I've gone in and I've set this as well for a setting. So if we look at it, We'll set this to zero. We have nothing. We use our exponent to adjust and you can see basically our middle is going to be zero and our outside is going to be one based on our exponent. And then our reflect fraction is going to determine how much of the inside is reflected back. So for example, and this is a small number. So like 0 0.01 is going to give us this effect. 0 0.04 is what I had originally. We're going to get this effect. So you only need a small number. We'll go with 0 0.02 and we get a slight reddish inside all the way to our darker reddish exponent on the outside, as you can see here. So the reflect fraction lets you determine how much of the inside is your solid color compared to a partial outside color and the exponent determines how much of the outside you actually see. So it allows you to have these adjustable weird effects, which technically don't mirror how Fresnel works in real life, but allows you to give a cool effect. So let's see an example of real life. Well, actually, let's go back to our last one. Sorry, our normal. Our normal is basically it takes in a three channel vector value representing the normal of the surface in world space. If you don't hook up anything, it's going to use the tangent normal of the mesh. So basically, if you hook in a normal, you can have it use a different normal rather than the mesh itself. So usually for now, when you think of it, is you're going to see it like this. Let me adjust my opacity down to a very small level, something more like this. Okay. You're going to normally think of for now when you're looking at a more transparent surface, like the surface of a glass or a mirror not a mirror, of, of glass or water surface. And of course, obviously, if you adjusted these properly, so they're not near as, you know, stand out-ish, you're going to see something like this, where your clear surface is going to be clear on the inside, but you're going to get that slight hint of a reflection of a soft effect based on a color on the outside. So you'd use this, for example, if you wanted to have like a glass bowl or you wanted a surface effect on water. 
So as you can see here, hopefully, I have this nice, let me adjust it a little bit more. Let's go with something like that and maybe like that. We have this nice little effect where it's clear on the inside. Actually, if we adjusted this one, let's adjust it down to zero. Actually, let's make it a negative, give it a little bit more of an effect. There we go. It's completely clear on the inside, but you have this nice little red halo around the outside or the non perpendicular. Well, actually, the perpendicular edge gives you the Fresnel effect. And of course, it's completely adjustable. So, that is it. That is what the Fresnel node does. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.